Okay, should be all set up. Uh, hello, Tyler. And this time I'll be playing as KG Maeda. Yeah, KG has one of these shorter story modes where he doesn't really have a branching path. Uh, depending on if you fail certain objectives, his story mode will just end right here. But otherwise, if you complete them all, he'll go on to his fifth and final stage. It's kind of lame, he only has five stages, but not much you can do about it. That rock sounded like a rocket. Hey you, what's the big idea? Hey, hey, just calm down all right. I'm really sorry about that. Please don't be so mad. It ruins your beautiful face. I'll send your pain straight to Nobunaga. I'm Magoichi, and I vow to protect you from the demon lord. Ugh! Huh. No luck with women either. Whoa. Hey, nice weapon you've got there. Huh? Hmm. Looks like you've got the skills and strong eyes, too. Hopefully, we'll meet in battle real soon. <laughs> I do love how KG rides his horse in this game. He's going that way. He must be with the Oda. Looks like it could get wild. It's definitely more of an intro for Magoichi than it is for KG. But whatever. It's a fun cutscene. Oh, huh. Apparently I unlocked uh, his fifth weapon at some point. Well, that's gonna make this really easy. But he was already a powerhouse to begin with. Yeah, this stage doesn't have too many actual officers. These pilgrims are just, uh, generic monk enemies. I love the music All in this game. in this area will be drowned in a sea. First, we must attack the fortresses closest to us. The coastal units will bombard the fortresses with cannons. Oh yeah, the peasants here actually have a uh, larger number of troops. I think they have seven or eight troops, when normally platoons will have like five. I guess that's to make up for them being exceptionally weak. I love that charge you one. Truly a great warrior. Specifically the final hit where you just flip the enemy into the air. It's great. Hideyoshi, go to the central fortress and set it ablaze. All others, protect the task force. Ha! <laughs> 
Indy also has a really good horse move set. Oh, that's... You can basically ignore that mission. The cannon's going to fire no matter what. Although I may as well kill this guy down here while I'm here. I do kind of have fun just ramming your own allies with Matsukaze. And I think it does actually deal some slight damage to them if you ever specifically wanted an ally to die. shall sever that faith from your bodies. <laughs> fire! Retreat and find doom. Advance and Which will it be? Yeah, in this game, when a fire attack is taking place, there's a small fire effect on the player character, and your health will drain slowly over time. No point in resisting any further. Maybe it's time to ask Nobunaga to business. It can't be hoped. It's settled then. I'll take you to him. I think I gotta go around to reach Magoichi. You think Nobunaga's gonna let you off that lightly? I have to stop them. You are truly a great warrior. Yeah, unlike other stories, uh, KG has green missions for every single one of his stages. And you have to complete all of them in each stage if you want to unlock his final one. Man, I am really tearing through them. Sorry, but this is strictly business. Stop! You really think Nobunaga will forgive you? Maybe you're right, but there really is no other choice. This isn't a choice either. If you can't reach me, I'll beat some into you. Continue the assault. There! I got another one! You can't fall behind! Here, take this and get out of here! You didn't have to beat that much attention to me. Thanks, Katie. I really owe you one. Don't thank me yet. Get everyone to safety first. There! I got another one! We must find glory as well! Such an impressive warrior! Oh yeah, you actually have some slight camera control in this game if you press R3. That's all it does. Barely zooming in or out. After them, they must not escape. The hardest part about getting these peasants to escape is not accidentally killing them. I think you just need to run up to them. 
and that'll trigger them to follow you. Maybe you have to stick close to them. The other two I went I went near don't seem to be moving. And Samurai Warriors 1 really loves to have you escort people. One of the guys is making pretty good progress. See if I can get this guy up here to move. A lot of characters uh, have this stage, have this mission. It kind of depends on if you're playing a good guy character or not. Like Mitsuhide, for example, will also escort the peasants. But if you're playing as like Radmaru, then your objective is to kill every single one of them. I'm glad they're smart enough not to fight every single enemy along the way. It's probably the easiest job I've had escorting people. Some fools are beyond salvation. I know this is war, but it doesn't make this any easier. Now that's entertainment! This is one of the stages you basically can't lose. One where your army will always do well. We only actually have two stages with KG working for the Oda in his story mode. But we'll see him working for the Oda a lot in other character story modes, just so you can fight him as an enemy frequently. Excuse me one second.
Okay, back. Sorry about that. Some guys are here to change the water meter outside. And I had no control about when they were going to show up. Anyways. Got Iyasu and Tatakatsu here. I like seeing him here because uh, he was a generic in the original Samurai Warriors. Not even the foreign merchant spoke of a musket technique like this. Perhaps this really is the key to ending the chaos. No. Without changing the people, there will be no end to chaos, or anything for that matter. <sighs> will you change? Or will you simply cease to be? Well, Samurai? <laughs> so that is your answer. This battle is not only about victory or defeat. We need to prove that our muskets are superior to the Takeda cavalry. Who cares about winning in style? That's not why I fight! We are waging war on history. Do you not understand that, Samurai? Do not advance beyond the barricades. Tighten the defense. Lure the enemy into the open sea. Alive! All the missions for this stage are to, uh, essentially make sure the talk of the charges. And you can deliberately sabotage that by just progressing too far forward. Now, you're, when you're playing Nagashino against Katsuyori, he's suddenly not willing to charge blindly at the enemy like he is when you're playing as Yukimura. Sakage Yamagata, indeed a worthy successor to Shinya. And since you can't go beyond the barricades, you essentially have to keep going down and around, which is partly why they give you a horse at the beginning of this stage. Uh, why stream this game in particular? Uh, I don't know. Just wanted to. Felt appropriate after Dynasty Warriors 4. Because, like, the order... If I'm going to end up streaming more Warriors games, then the order will essentially be Dynasty Warriors 4, Samurai Warriors 1, Dynasty Warriors 5, Samurai Warriors 2 and just keep going sort of like that. Even in death, Shingen breeds victory. Most impressive. If the enemy will not move, then we will. <laughs> Man, just 20 troops, that's such a small number for the massive scores of enemies you fight nowadays in the uh, more modern Warriors games. Uh, you could defeat 20 soldiers by breathing on them. This is 
is the end. Charge! Tear down the Oda's barricades! Warriors of old, vanish into the darkness. Change are doomed to be forgotten. Mazakage just dead. Let up. Keep charging. We have to reach their base camp before they finish reloading. <laughs> this battle is over. So if you don't mind, I'll be here now. I want to have a look at this Sanadek here. The banner of the Takeda still waves. Strong! Oh Lord, I shall make you You are indeed a samurai of great skill. Don't be so eager to die, kid. There! I got another one! We must find glory as well. There, I got another one. <laughs> we shall not be far behind. Forward! Why? Why can we not defeat them? <laughs> the enemy while they reload. If one musket is fired while the other is continuous fire. Here we go! Might of one warrior is no longer a matter for numbers and strategy. Looks like I'm going to. Yukimura, I presume. So hit the road. Don't throw your life away in this meaningless battle. I am grateful for your help. Hey, warrior, I am only able to repay you with my spear. Come forth! Here we go! I come forth! There! I got another one! Ah, Yuki Mori healed himself. I think we should see other people! Kinoichi didn't even get her intro to play. Defeated her too quickly. Don't think KG had any lines for her anyways. There, I got another one. Really feels like I'm kind of overpowered playing as KG here. You are indeed a great warrior. There, I got another one. A lot of people asking what I think about Samurai Warriors 5. Um, well, I mean, it's it's not out yet, so I don't really have much of an opinion on it. I haven't seen the demo, nor have I played it, if it's available to play. Not yet. Is this really where you want to die? Is that really the will of the Sanada? Of Lord Shingen? I'll let you go. As long as you continue fighting, I'm sure we'll meet again. Eiji's just sort of like a mentor to Yukimura in this game. An ambush? There! I got another one! We shall not be far behind! Forward! An exceptional warrior. We have no choice. Oh, the gate's locked. Retreat! Do I lose if he gets away? No, I, I win if he escapes. So killing him is totally optional. Fools. Put them out of their misery.
It's nice to have battles that go well, considering uh, the last couple battles I did in the last two story modes, most of them just went poorly, like super quickly. Clearly having trouble rendering all these characters at once. We must find glory as well. It takes a while for before Warriors games stop having that issue. Yes, I do intend to play Samurai Warriors 5. There, I got another one. Continue the assault. the fate of those who cling to the past. This... this... is war? Uh, yeah, if you've only played Samurai Warriors 1 and 4, I highly recommend playing 2. 2 is... one of the best. You don't know what you're dealing with. And I mean one of the best Warriors games in general. It's really good. It also introduces my favorite Samurai Wars character, Katara Fuma. Yeah, Samurai Warriors 1 Nobunaga has the same voice actor as Dynasty Warriors 5 to 8 South South. This is actually the first time he voiced in a uh, Warriors game. So he's actually voicing Nobunaga before he was voicing South South. He just became a lot more widely known for being the South South voice. Although he did come back to voice Nobunaga again in Samurai Warriors Katakana. Or, uh, Kata Katana. There we go. It seems like my Japanese there. That's a Wii-only game that has a lot of motion controls and is really frustrating to actually play. I recorded it before and I will never play it again. Now, I've got no problems with the art style in Samurai Warriors 5. It looks good. And I'm fine with them taking it a different direction, as opposed to repeating the same thing for like a fifth time. Oh uh, yeah, we get to hear City of Flowers. It's one of the best themes in the game. Don't you think, Matsukaze? Hold it right there. <laughs> don't tell me you don't remember. Three years ago, I saw you. Sorry, I really don't remember. Why you? Everyone, get out here! Hey, hey. <laughs> I love the way this sumo moves. Get him! <laughs> Ah, a 
rumble in the capital. <laughs> this is great. It's a fight. So who wants to go first? <laughs> Fighting on these devices is strictly prohibited. Savages will be prosecuted. <laughs> It's pretty easy to rack up a thousand kills here if you just keep wailing on all the enemy soldiers. They don't even really give you a objective. Which is kind of appropriate for Keiji. Keiju also just has a really good moveset in general. Like his charge 4 has such reach, it's great. Just clear out the entire screen with it. His Muso attack is also pretty destructive as well. Splendid show of force. I kind of forgot Okuni's voice in this game. I don't know what's with the direction they gave her. Are you the one spreading tomfoolery around? Keiji's the name. Pleasure to meet you. Now, don't you know that Tarnishing Master Keiji's good name? You force a lady to teach you a lesson in manners. This <laughs> Got another one. And like Akuni's voice actress is actually pretty good. Like her, if it's the one I recall, it's her name is Melissa Fawn. And when she talks normally, <laughs> she actually sounds good. I do apologize, sir. Can you forgive this foolish lady? Sit back and relax. Oh, aren't you, uh... Goibon Ishikawa, King of Thieves, at your service! Oh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'm starting to gain some clout! Just my turn! No one upstate can here! Let's see what you've got! Here we go. Oh well, you're gonna give me a mission, I guess I'll go do that. Although I wish I had it before, uh... Such amazing skill. Then again, I have five minutes to do it, that's plenty of time. Some of these guys weren't here in the beginning. Or the merrier, I guess. This is getting dangerous. I'll have to somehow keep the unwanteds out. I 
I think if I defeat Goemon, that would actually fail the 100 enemy mission. I'll just leave him alone for now. Do not falter! We can still win! Uh, yeah, it is Stephen Blum voicing KD in this game, which is a fantastic voice for him. Probably should have headed toward that big mass of uh, enemies on the left there. Oh well. You gotta be close to defeating 100 by now. The entire capital just overrun. I know we can eventually tell these, uh, these allies to all leave the map. I'm not sure what triggers that, though. It may just be a time thing. Sending an army to interfere with a private dispute. Not very sporting, if you ask me. Now let's see if I can convince these Oda troops to leave. Beat it. Go. Hey, hey, this is my fight. I'll thank you not to interfere. You kind of have to go across the entire map to complete all the objectives here. And if you never take all the strongholds, then the enemy will just, or the miscreants will just keep respawning. So you can easily get 1,000 KOs if you just really want to. I don't think there's any real reason to, though.
So many enemies over here. Hey, hey, this is my fight. Thank you not to interfere. Hey, hey, this is my fight. Thank you not to interfere. A splendid show of force. Let's just ignore going mine for now, just in case defeating him beats uh, wins the stage. Like how even KG doesn't like infinitely respawning enemies. He's fine with killing all the miscreants, but not when they just keep coming back. I kind of forgot City of Flowers isn't played for the entirety of the stage. Now we just got the, uh, I forget the name of it, but it's like the winning battle theme. What an uppercut. Or a flip, I guess. Let's go after Goemon. So much for that. Put him on, Put on. Gotta be a joke. Man, show a little face and all hell breaks.
Come on! Show me what you got! Come on! You missed. Well, he hit with the last one, I guess. Oh yeah, we got to see his deadlock animation. Some energy. Yeah, even that wasn't enough for KG. <laughs> you haven't seen power until you face it. Maybe the only time you'll see me get an S rating for Muso kills. I think in the last battle, KG had already left the Oda, but they were just still hanging around him. Now he's full on left, and he's going after to try to find Kinchin, who happens to be attacking Odawara right now. Don't need Matsukaze's saddle inside of a of a castle. So the war god isn't here yet. I'll just go take his mother's head as a souvenir. <laughs> Poor Ujimasa really doesn't deserve to have KG come and try to kill him just because he was here. I was hoping using a Muso there would keep me from being hit by the by the spike trap, but that didn't exactly work out. All those are supposed to fall out from under you, and you fall into the, uh, the spike trap back there. But I had to speed up, so I was able to just run across it all. KG's dash attack is really good too. You just clear out a wave of enemies and keep going.
And those are arrows. I doubt we'll ever hear Keiji's true Musou quote just because I won't be able to get his HP down far enough to where he'll actually end up in the red. Like, I'm playing this on the same difficulty as I did Yukimura and Hanzo's story modes. It's just Keiji is really freaking good in this game. Although it also helps, I apparently unlocked his fifth weapon at one point. I believe he may be the only character I did that with. Spelling for Kojiro's name in this game. They really went all out with this one. officers are. I thought they were somewhere back there. One room I missed. I think I need to defeat his officers before I defeat Masamune. Looks like all the paths down there are already open. Well, as you may have noticed, there are different uh, stairs leading up here, all protected by defense captains. 
Uh, it's basically just a gamble on which stair leads up and which one is a fake stair. Can't even check Masamune on the map. I was hoping he might show me where his sub officers are. Oh, there he is. Yeah, this is the only game I've seen Kojiro's name spelt like that. Myself. That's the spirit. Don't cry if you get hurt. Okay, apparently I defeated Shigizane and didn't realize it. I must have just hit him with like a off-handed attack and killed him that way. I got another one. God, Keiji's so freaking strong. I am no fool. I know when it's time to retreat. I'm a warrior, not a leader. If you want to be a leader, then you can't just be waging war all the time. Hmm. I don't need you to tell me that. There's really nothing much to these stairs. You just go up one and it either takes you up another floor or it doesn't. Although, if you play this stage in, uh, I believe Masamune's story mode, and you actually break all the fake stairs first, you get an item. But it's basically just random if that's gonna happen or not. God, my luck is terrible, huh? If I was playing Masamune's version of this stage, I would have gotten the item. Just accidentally. I do like how the troops can kind of give away who you're going to be fighting here. Like we have some blue Kunoichis that say they're part of the Hattori army, so you know Hanzo's here somewhere now. Those are taking a while to explode. There they go. Oh, 
darkness. The master requires. Hey, come on! Don't be so blue, my ninja. Let's have some fun. There, I got another one. Shadows never die forever. Wow, KG just kills him, huh? So they made it all the way to the top. So when am I going to get to see this war? <laughs> I do like the top of Odawara Castle. Especially how you can, like, see outside of it and stuff like that. Very cinematic. And yeah, the Hojo are all generics in this game. Totoro doesn't even appear. There! I got another one! Now that's entertainment! If you're Kenshin, then accept my challenge. Why do you pay respects to the Hojo? Even an enemy is one with the Buddha after death, and one must always respect the Buddha. Ferocious in war, pious in the aftermath. Does that define who Kenshin is? I know of no other way to live. Now that's class. Ooh, you're good. You gotta let me join you. What do you say? Is there a spot for me in your army? I figured I may as well save the points, not like KG needs to be any stronger. Oh uh, yeah, Kenshin has the same voice actor as Sauron. Who also voices Dion Wei. And now, if I had failed any of the green missions in the previous stages, then I would have an ending cutscene there, and KG's story mode would just be over. So, I'm gonna go to the vault. And go ahead and play that. So I got into service somehow. But now that all the fighting is over, I've really got nothing to do. What good am I outside of battle? This is what I wanted, right? Oh well, I'm sure things will pick up. Uh, yeah, you can do the green missions on any difficulty. That doesn't matter. So that's basically if, uh, when Kenshin had asked, or when KG had asked Kenshin if he could join the army, Kenshin just says, yes. And then that's it, he joins. 
But in the better ending, Kenshin challenges him. He must defeat the entire Uesugi army by himself. And if that's Kenshin's recruitment process... You don't actually need to bring Matsukaze for this stage because they actually just put it in front of you when you start it. But I may as well. yet. don't help out guys you know so you better appreciate this KG thanks for coming but this is right come back another time to be a samurai means to be a leader of men protect the lives of those who believe in you looks like I have some competition <laughs> I can't let you take all the glory. Keiji, Yuki Mora's headed here too. We'd better take out the troops at Zenkoji before he arrives. I do love how all this plays out, that essentially everyone Keiji helped along the way is now coming back in the final stage to pay him back. Those sky ninjas really need to need to cut it out. They can get really annoying jumping around you all the time. Looks like I have some competition. Lord Keiji, I shall now repay my debt to you at Nagashima. Master Keiji, what can a lady do to help? Thanks for coming. I see you brought a servant. I'm not a servant. I'm a traveling. Here we go. This lady shouldn't be far behind. Master Keiji, wherefore art thou? All 
already surrounded, I see. Stay where you are. Uh, you That's not fair. Couldn't you really did take like two seconds to get surrounded? It's real easy to miss that sub officer over there. I can't let you take and forget all to the take glory. him out. I think he's actually required to take out if you're trying to get the uh, the fifth weapon. Let you take all the glory. Personally. Time to get serious then. There, I got another one. Find glory as well. <laughs> Curses! How could we be losing? Masamuni complains the enemies are weak and then just immediately starts getting wrecked by generics. It was mostly because Kenshin arrives with max morale. Jeez. Masamuni is also on the field for the shortest amount of time, so he didn't get any morale boost. Actually, ooh, you lose if anyone is defeated. I didn't realize that. Unfortunately, he seems to be doing all right. Although that has concerned me, so I am going to make a save. Not bode well. I probably don't have time to fight all the troops here. Even if fighting troops would lower morale. There, I got another one. Hey, not bad. Come, 
he comes. Lord Kenshin, accept this warrior's challenge. Even Final Boss Kenshin didn't put up much of a challenge for Keiji. Thus concludes another Keiji Maida adventure. Join us again next time. I do love how he talks now like it's a freaking show. <laughs> another victory screech. Getting really strong uh, fourth weapons here, but since I already have the fifth, they don't really matter. Feel like recruiting me? There. Huh. Those guys are nuts. With nothing to gain, they stick their necks out for me without even being asked. May the gods guide you to destiny. Hey! Come back here! saying that I belong with them, right? War isn't all about winning, I guess. You may have noticed Masamune wasn't in that cutscene, and I'm not sure why he isn't. I guess he just, uh, doesn't feel like having a group hug moment. But yeah, that was relatively... short. That's probably gonna be the shortest Muso mode I play. Mm, I don't think there's really anything else I can show with KG either. But yeah, Keiji's a lot of fun to play, especially in uh, Samurai Warriors 1. It's by far my favorite iteration of him. They start to focus on, like, the wild, fun-loving aspect in later games, but uh, in this one, he's just a flat-out badass, and it's awesome. Masamuni was there, but the camera was just too high. He was too short, so I couldn't see him. How did I mute myself during... What? You're asking in my older Samurai Wars videos, how did I mute myself during gameplay? That's not... It's not how this works. I just didn't record... Commentary. <laughs> I just recorded straight gameplay. But uh, I generally prefer recording just gameplay, just because uh, if I'm wanting to show a game, me personally, when I try to watch something like that, I like to not have someone speaking over it. 
but I've already recorded all this, all these, so I may as well do it with commentary now. Plus, streaming it is actually kind of fun, so I, I guess I've turned my, I've changed my mind on that now. Uh, yeah, I ended up having to get a new mic for this setup for console streaming. Uh, when I played DW4 Hyper on PC, since that was through the PC, I was able to have like a headset mic, but now I needed like a headset for the TV and a mic to go into the computer. So, this setup took a while. That's the main reason why I didn't stream for a while there, because I just had to order all this stuff from Amazon and have it sent to me, wait for it to actually show up. Well, this is a bit of a short stream this time, but, uh, oh well. I'm sure I'll have other story modes where I, uh, have longer ones as well, like Yukimura's was pretty long. That went over two hours. I guess it's only fair that this one goes a little under two hours. I'm really not sure who I'm gonna play next, though. Uh, maybe Magawichi. I really like his. Though he also has a rather short story as well. His is like Keiji in that there's only five stages. Samurai Warriors 1 Masamune, or uh, Magawichi is also my favorite Magawichi. Yeah, I suppose I'll play Magawichi next. Yoshimoto next. No. Uh, though I will play Yoshimoto at some point because I actually do like his story mode in this game. He's actually pretty entertaining. Uh, Tadakatsu I'll get around to. I kind of want to save the Extreme Legends characters for later just because they actually have pretty good story modes. They have more cutscenes than anyone else. Like actual CG cutscenes on top of that. But yeah, next time I'll play Magoichi. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.